Hi there, I'm Niv Mizer, and last week, Mark from the Game Makers Toolkit YouTube channel, a channel I really like and recommend to anyone who wants to improve their grasp of game development, hosted their annual Game Jam, which is basically a game development competition where you have to make a game according to a theme in just 48 hours. And I decided to participate. This year, the theme was... Joined Together. After hearing the theme, I immediately thought of a game I'd wanted to make for a while. A multiplayer game where you and your friends are joined together on a randomly generated island and you have to fend for yourselves against monsters. I started by working on a tile set for the environment, and while I'm not an artist by any means, I'm quite proud of these. I think they really sell the 2.5D effect, and I really like that style. Unity, the game engine I used to make this game, has a really useful feature for tile sets called Rule Tiles. Basically, you set the rules of where you want each sprite in the tile set to fit in with the others, and then, when you draw with that rule tile, each sprite in the tile set fits in perfectly. Here you can see that I coded this simple randomly generated island script, based off of a tutorial by Sebastian League, link in the description, that creates a random island with little lakes, trees, and rocks scattered around it. It's nothing crazy, but it works great for such a short time limit. Next I added a player, and a movement script to let him move around in this random island. I also added some UI for his name tag and health, both of which do nothing right now, but they'll be important later. I then added this cool little flipping animation, inspired by games like Paper Mario, and I think it looks pretty cute and really fits with the game's art style. After that, I drew and animated a little sword for the player, and made him able to attack with left click. But wait, what's the point of attacking if there's nothing to attack? So I made this Hydra type enemy, which I thought was fitting because its heads are, well, joined together. I then used the tried and true game dev technique of slightly changing the color of the enemy to make it look more powerful, and added two more heads to make this stronger Hydra, and I think it came out pretty cool. Now, at this point, a lot of the game art was starting to look kinda ancient Greek inspired. <laughs> No, 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 get out of here, Kratos, you're from a different game. Anyway, this gave me an idea for the name of the game. Argolis. In Greek mythology, this is the name of the island where the Hydra comes from, so I thought it would fit because both of the enemies in the game are Hydras. Anyway, I added the Hydras into the game and coded some simple AI for them as by this point I didn't have much time left in the game jam, but I still really wanted to add some multiplayer into the game. I also made them able to attack the player, damaging him and knocking him back. I also made it so the player can deal damage to the Hydras by attacking them with his sword. Also, at some point in coding this, I gave the player way too much knockback and uh, this happened. I like it, Kaji. Next I worked on adding multiplayer into the game. Now this is what took up a large majority of the game jam time, as I had to make all the systems in the game work with multiplayer in mind from the player's attack animation to the world generation itself. This was tough, but using a great tutorial by Liam from the amazing YouTube channel Blackthorn Prod, link in the description, I managed to get what you're seeing on screen finally working. Two instances of the game with two players on the map playing together. Unfortunately, this is also the main reason why the game doesn't really have much of an objective. In only 48 hours, basic gameplay has to take priority, and I ended up running out of time and didn't have time to make a boss like I planned. I do plan on updating the game later though, so leave suggestions for what I should add in the next version down in the comments. I then took the last couple of hours of the jam to polish the game up, add menus, add music, which is by the way the music that you've been hearing in the background in this video, and overall making the game feel more like a game and less like a tech demo. As you can see, I made a controls menu, an options menu, a quit button, and a play button that brings you into the creator join room menu. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to check out the game and play it with your friends, the link to download it is in the description. Anyway, here's some footage of me and a friend playing the game together.